Hello friends. I got some gift cards to Barnes and Noble and I'm just in a book buying mood right now because I went to get lunch today. There was a bookstore really close by. I'll show you guys um, here. Um, there's a bookstore and I did get a book um, there because there was a sale and it was a great deal. Also, shout out to the person the cashier there who like took off the sticker the sales sticker from the book amazing but i wanted to go to another local like small bookstore and like see if there's any books there i would want uh, and then of course going to barnes and noble because i do have some gift cards so come along with me as we just <laughs> have this need for books that i desperately have Whew, it is hot. I parked my car outside and it's like it's really freaking hot in here. But I'm gonna go to this. I'm like forgetting the name of this bookstore. I know where it is. So I'm gonna go to this one. It has like a cat. It's really cute little bookstore. It has used and new books. And Noel um, Gal something, who's a uh, another booktuber. I love her. She's amazing. She actually goes to this bookstore quite a bit and they have actually amazing like kids books i like keep on getting like my nieces and nephews like tons of books so i'm not gonna get any kids books i'm gonna get some books for myself but let's see what they have <laughs> books they're both they're used at this bookstore because I wanted to get some more like classics or used books there because I like I can always find like the super popular books at Barnes and Noble so um I got some really cool classic books there and I'll show you guys later but I need to like print out the gift cards that I have um and then maybe get make myself like a little iced coffee or like I don't know, weird water thing. But anyway, let me like get these gift cards and uh, yeah. As I'm like pulling up these gift cards, they're from work, so I need to like send them to myself basically. Anyway, as I pull these up, there is something interesting of I, I have a book club in two days, um, like in the morning, like we're doing like a brunch book club and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. I, I have an audio audiobook, whatever. I have like eight hours left of this book and I really don't like having a book unfinished going to book club. I know people do it all the time, but for me, I really, and I'm liking the book. I'm liking it a lot. It's The Great Alone uh, by Kristen Hanna, but I have just been like, while I'm not, while I'm like not, find books or not studying I am like listening to this book so hopefully I will get it done by the time I can but like man um I yeah I I need to get through this book because I think I need to do another like two more hours today and it's like five so we shall see if I get through this book but I like it so far. I think it's um, really nice. I think I talked about it in my last video, but I'm still listening to it. I missed the churn like twice, so I'm finally here. Yay. <laughs>
since I got the books until now. So sorry if I'm a little sniffly, but I have the goods here and I'm excited to tell you all about everything I got. But the first thing I got um, was at Books Inc. and it was Leela. And I thought that this was the first in a trilogy, but this is actually the third book in the trilogy. But I don't think that it needs the other books to have as much. I think I can read it um, on its own. Le the main character, Leela, is a young woman. She was homeless and alone for a really long time, and she stumbles into a church in Iowa and um, falls in love and marries a minister and she kind of struggles to reconcile her life from before to the life she has now. So I've heard this has, I heard this author has really beautiful writing, beautiful literature, so I'm excited to read this one. At the Recycle Bookstore I got two books that I think actually go really well together. One is written about the 1950s and another the woman grew up in 1950s but I don't think it was published until the 80s but it's all about like women's roles in society and things like that but the first one I was so excited to find is Stepford Wives and if you don't know the story of Stepford Wives it's about this like typical 1950s housewife or these 1950s housewives in society where everyone seems very very perfect but it's not exactly what it seems and the husbands have to do with it. I've never actually seen the movie but I've really wanted to see the movie. I'd much rather read the book first and then watch the movie find it somewhere. I cannot find the movie but I got this for like $5.50 which is a great deal. And then the next book I got is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruits and this is about a woman who grows up in a very religious um, society in the U.S. And she, it kind of comes in terms of her own sexuality. And the, this is, this is more, I think, even though it was published in the 80s, I feel like more of a classic of this type of book. Um, so I'm excited to possibly like read these together, one after the other. I think these are great books together of like looking at society and generals and like all these types of things. Um, and this was also only $9, so great deal. Okay, so this first book that I got at Barnes & Noble, I was determined to find this book at Barnes & Noble, and I've been seeing it everywhere, and I don't know too much about it, but I do know it's Pirates, A Woman Pirate and Adventure, and it's this book. I've seen it all over, everywhere, and it just looks like the like most fun adventure book. So super excited. The Adventures of Amina Al Serafi. And just like look at this cover, beautiful. But it just seems like such a great like fantasy, distracting kind of book, adventure book that I, yeah, I love. I've heard really good things about it, but I don't want to look too much into it because these types of books I kind of just like to fall into and see what happens. This next book is based in the 1980s in Niagara Falls and it's very kind of Stranger Things vibes and this is the Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davison and it's about uh, a boy who just turned 12 years old and it's summer and his uncle is really into conspiracy theories and the occult and just like weird stuff like that um, and he's always been interested in that and these two new kids move to town and this main character starts the Saturday Night Ghost Club and it starts funs and games but then it gets quite a bit darker so I'm really excited for this and this cover is like great vibes it's very I, I just like whoever made this cover amazing and the last book is Sea Change. I need to take the sticker off of this book, but this is about Ro, the main character, who is in her 30s. She's estranged from her mother. She doesn't really have a lot of connections for one reason or the other, and she works at a like kind of lame um, mall aquarium, and her best friend is an octopus there 
who she kind of has that connection through the aquarium, through the octopus, with her dad who mysteriously, mysteriously disappeared while she was a teenager. And this seems like it's, it's not just a book that's like, oh, cute, you know, cute octopus or whatever adventures, which it probably has a bit of that, but it also seems like it deals with like family trauma and seriousness and um, is a little bit deeper, deeper of a book than it might seem. So I think this will be a great book. I love any sort of sea creature. So I'm happy to have another sea creature book on my shelf. But that is all the books. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content. And see you later. I hope you have a beautiful day today. Bye-bye.